Hello, today we're going to talk about half steps and whole steps. A half step is the shortest distance between two keys. Here we have a half step for going from a white key to the very next white key. We can also have a half step going from a white key to the very next black key. Or we can have a half step going from the black key to the very next white key. Going back to these two white keys, notice they're only a half step because there is no black key in between them. There is nothing in between them. They are directly touching. We have two different types of half steps. The first type of half step demonstrated here on this D on the keyboard and on the staff going to the very next black key, we are going up by a half step. So we are going to D sharp. Remember a half step or a sharp raises a note by a half step. When we use the same letter name D to D sharp, it's called a chromatic half step. In this next example, we have a different kind of half step. We're gonna use the same note again, D for our example. And we're gonna to go to the next black key just like we did before. But this time, we're gonna change the letter name and E flat. Notice on the keyboard, we're using the same notes. They're still a half step because they're directly touching. But because we've changed the letter name, we've made it different. It's called a diatonic half step. D for different, D for diatonic. So they look the same on the keyboard, but we've named them different on the staff. Let's practice some chromatic half steps together. Remember, a chromatic half step means they use the same letter name. In this first example, we're starting on F and we're going to the next black key so it's going to be called an F sharp because we're going up by half step. Remember, a sharp raises a note by a half step. In this next example, we're starting on an A and we're going to the very next black key. What do you think that one is going to be called? You guessed it, an A sharp. Let's try another one. Here we're starting on G, and we're going to the very next black key. Remember to use the same letter name. What is it going to be? You got it, a G sharp. Now let's try this next one. A C to the very next black key is what? You got it, a C sharp. Now let's try some flats. We're going to go down. So we're going to start on this G and we're going to go down. Remember when we go down, we use a flat. So if the first note was a G, our second note will be a G sharp. Let's try another one going down, descending. Our first note is an A. We're going to go down to the next black key. What is it? If you guessed A flat, you are correct. A to A flat is a half step, chromatic half step. How about this one? D to the very next key below is what? D flat, you got it. Okay. In our next example here, let's talk about our diatonic half steps. Remember, a diatonic half step will have a different name. Okay, so here we're going on the white key to another white key. That's B to C. That is also a half step. Let's look at this next diatonic half step going from E 
to the next white key, F, also half step. How about this next one here? Ooh, we're starting on a black key and we're going to a white key. Remember, they have to have a different name. So I'm going to start on C sharp and go to D natural. Again, with a different name, we're starting on D and we're going up to E flat. Remember, it has to be E flat and not D sharp because they are diatonic. I'm looking for a different name. Now we're starting on this black key and going to this white key. So that has to be an F sharp to a G natural. Okay, and that's all for our half steps for today. Next time, we will look at some whole steps together.